Joining me now to discuss the pending execution of Melissa Lucio is Sabrina Van Tassel. She's the director of the documentary The State versus Melissa Lucio. We also have Cornell Law School professor and attorney for Melissa Lucio, Sandra Babcock, and Melissa's son, John Lucio. Thank you all for being here. Uh, Sandra, explain why you say this is the weakest capital case you've seen in 30 years of defense work in Texas. Well, Melissa Lucio's case was, was based on false evidence, uh, false scientific evidence, a false confession. Um, and we know this not because I say so, but because experts from around the country, leading experts, have examined the evidence against Melissa um, and have concluded that um, her daughter Mariah died from injuries she incurred during a fall two days before she died. Um, the evidence of the medical examiner at trial, the uh, confession that was taken from Melissa, um, were actually based on, uh, on lies. Uh, Melissa's insisted on her innocence 100 times when she was speaking to the police. Um, but because she is a trauma survivor and because the police used outmoded interrogation tactics that were designed to elicit a confession, even if it wasn't true. Uh, Melissa eventually, uh, she simply gave up after hours and hours of interrogation, where the police gave her really no choice but to admit some guilt. And in the end, um, she she gave up and she said, well, I don't know what you want me to say. I, I guess I'm responsible. Sabrina, talk to us about your documentary and about the evidence you uncovered for your documentary in 2020. I started looking at, you know, reading all the files and just basically going back to everything that, you know, had been said and done. And what I discovered was that um, there was uh, one of, of Melissa's kid. Um, he was nine years old at the time. And there was a video of him, uh, you know, where he stated that he saw his little sister fall down a flight of stairs. And that was never used at trial. Uh, so that was, you know, uh, something that was, you know, kind of peculiar. Uh, at the same time, I mean, um, uh, a lot. I, I found out that none of her children were able to testify at trial, and that, you know, basically uh, nobody. I mean, she stood there with no defense, practically. So I mean, it was just like a lot of things, and you know, like um, you know, Sandra stated, you know, it was a really weak, weak case. I mean, they really had nothing against her apart that course uh, really I mean there was just really nothing that pointed to Melissa that she might have done this or you know uh, had you know a neighbor or someone or, or you know even one of her children seen her abuse Mariah I mean there was just none of that you know in in just in the entire case so you know I yeah. I just put all that you know, together in the film to see that, you know, not only is there, you know, I mean, huge corruption because, you know, the DA is in prison and, you know, the, the court appointed attorney went to work for the DA. So that's kind of a problem. But also there was a lot of evidence. So, John, let me ask you this. As we approach this execution deadline for your mother, I can't, I mean, it's hard for me to even ask this question. How are you and your family feeling? How are you doing? What actions are you still trying to take to prevent it? Um, it's been a long 15 years. It's been very uh, overwhelming, very exhausting, very depressing, very much uh, depressing and emotional. Um, as for the family, it's, it's caused a bunch of damage to the majority of us, and it's caused a big division. Um, the way we are feeling today is we are scared. We're scared to lose my mother. I mean, the state of Texas doesn't see that that is not justice. And um, losing our sister was already painful. I mean, now losing our mother is just going to be added on to the pain and is very, very horrible what the Cameron County Courthouse is doing to my mother. And Sandra, just talking about the case again, Armando Villalobos, the former DA who handled this um, case, was convicted on... Several uh, After corruption all my charges. And sisters. Sorry, yeah, John, finish your point. I think we lost you for a second there. Sorry, John, finish your point. We may have lost John. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring Sandra back in. Sandra, talk to us about the DA 
who was found guilty of accepting more than $100,000 in exchange for favorable acts of prosecutorial discretion. He's now serving 13 years in federal prison. He was convicted five years after he sent Melissa to death row. People are now calling for his cases to be reviewed, including this one. Shouldn't that have happened years ago? It should have happened years ago. And in fact, the attorney, the U.S. attorney who was responsible for prosecuting Armando Villalobos and putting him in prison has said that all of his cases that he prosecuted should now be reviewed. Um, and that is certainly consistent with our view, given what we have seen, which is that um, Mr. Villalobos concealed exculpatory evidence from the defense. Um, that he um, pressured witnesses to testify, that he refused to um, call the children and disclose that the children themselves had corroborated what Melissa said, which is that Mariah had fallen down a flight of stairs a couple of days before she died, um, and that her children have always testified that their mother never abused them. Um, but none of that evidence was ever brought before the jury. And, and you have to, I have to think that part of that is that this is a prosecutor who was under so much pressure. Um, he knew yeah. that he was, um, you know, that he was, so, he was on limited time. 20 seconds left, John. I want to give you the last word. When was the last time you spoke to your mother? What did she say to you, briefly? I see my mother um, through every, most, almost every week. We've seen her last Tuesday. Um, and she's scared but she has the, her faith in god she believes in god and she tells me son if god decides to take me where where it's i think we lost john there but but i think he he made the point powerfully we'll have to leave it there john lucio sandra babcock and sabrina van tassel thank you so much all of you uh, for coming on the show tonight i appreciate it